We are at the shop of uh, Richards and Fox and Company, just outside Chattanooga, Tennessee. They are one of the best organ makers in the country, and we're witnessing the final stages of building this instrument, the organ in All Saints Chapel. All Saints Chapel is mostly used for the daily services. These are small-scale services done at noontime, and as such, they have an intimate quality to them. This is an instrument that specializes in earlier repertoire, 18th and really 17th century repertoire, beautiful small pieces that work well for a small and beautiful space. Pipe organs have been built since before the time of Christ. It's really a medieval practice that has just made it into the modern ages. People who think uh, in mechanical terms start to wonder, how do you do this? How do you build this stuff? And it's piece by piece by piece. There are thousands and thousands of holes that are drilled in this organ for Trinity. We actually model an organ on a computer to make sure it will fit in the space that it's going to. The casting of metal is probably the most unusual thing that happens in an organ shop. I've had friends, stockbroker friends stuff, who would stop their day in clients simply to come and watch it because that technique goes back at least to the 12th century. Nobody's found a better way to cast metal for organ pipes. Anything handmade, of course, has a visceral reaction to it. For me, my grandfather was a bronze caster, so coming in here and seeing the sights and especially smelling the smells of the oven and the, and the molten metal brings me back to when I was six years old visiting his shop, so it's a very strong reaction. So this pipe was made earlier this morning. It sounds pretty raw. It's full of odd harmonics and we're going to take out those harmonics. It's almost like taking sp spice out of a dish. Can you hear the difference? The, it's lost some of that uh, edginess. You just keep manipulating the mouth parts until you, and the toe until you get the right volume and timbre. It really has a, a lot of personality to it. It's a gentle sound, but it has a lot to say. It's the perfect mix of warmth and excitement for a room like that. It's somewhat humbling, but also exciting to be able to leave a part of our voice in this important church in New York City. Art is the thing that lasts. Art and architecture in 100 years or 200 years, there's a good possibility that somebody will be playing music on this organ still. Mm -hmm.